Radio Smart Planet presents the transports. To go around the world, you need to use many different transports because the world is so big. It takes many days to do so. You have to cross rivers, climb mountains, sail the seas, and fly the skies. The car is perfect to drive through the mountains. The road is very curvy. When you travel in your car, you drive through many villages and see lots of animals. Hello, Mrs. Cow. When the car runs out of gas, you can stop at a gas station for a refill before you continue your trip. The car can't continue on the water because it would sink. But it's okay. We'll jump on a boat. I love to sail on a boat. I love the sea. Through the boat's window, you can see loads of sea animals. There's fish, dolphins, and whales. If you see other boats, say hi to the sailors. Ahoy, sailors! Oh, look, a submarine. Submarines are like boats, but they go under the water. When there is a storm, there are huge waves and the boat rocks a lot. But it's okay because the captain is a great sailor. Land ahoy! Now we need to use another transport to continue our trip on land. Let's ride on a train. At first, the train goes very slowly. Look, a farm. But then the train starts to speed, and everything flashes by. You don't climb mountains with a train. Instead, you go through them through tunnel. When you exit the tunnel, everything turns beautiful. Oh, look, a rainbow! Now we're nearly at the end of our tour around the world. It's the longest part, but we'll take an airplane, which is the fastest transport of all. The airplane flies through the skies and through the windows. You can see birds. Look, a stork. The airplane flies very high above the clouds, and from here you can see the land and the sea. We arrived at land.